It's only 59 floors. Nothing to it. Well, at least it ain't a race. Small blessing. Seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred percent, one hundred ten. Mako supersaturation confirmed. <laughs> Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. <sighs> Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. Uh, uh. Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. Registering mass increase in core materia. <sighs> now, show me something truly exquisite. Contaminants registered. Hmm. <laughs> We're leaving. Materia growth accelerating, outpacing models. Registering crystallization within the reserve tanks. The reaction is out of control. We have to stop it quickly. Clean up the mess, would you? Ma'am. So this is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune and then some. Let's look for reception. Those two weirdos were just so over the top. Uh, the two, I mean, uh, Scarlet and Heidegger are the two Shinra executives that seem like the most, in the original game anyway, seemed like the most sort of ridiculously comic book supervillainish. Hojo was up there too, but maybe not quite as bad. Ones who come here at night to take in the view. So pretty and marvelous and beautiful. But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <sighs> yeah. Terrible but beautiful all the same. In the original game, when you reach the Coral Region, you discover that, like with a lot of other people, Barrett's motivation fighting Shinra is not quite as it seems. He talks a big game about fighting for the planet and all that kind of stuff, but a lot of what he does seems to be more motivated by a feeling of uh, desire for revenge, because Shinra, and what seems to be a common thing for them, caused the destruction of his hometown. And he wants revenge for that. And it seems like the environmentalist message is a bit more of an excuse than anything. So I wonder how much he really believes what he was saying there. You must be here for our grand tour. Visitors have access to floors 60, 61, 62, as well as floor 63. You will proceed in that order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the keycard in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why has this whole thing got to be such a big pain in the ass? I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? <laughs> If it is, then bring it on. Let's get this party started. Yeah, of course this is a trap. I mean... <laughs> you are getting in way too easily. In the original game, you had the option of doing two different things. You could either sneak in the back way, 
Or you can barge into the front door and fight your way through a lot of the guards and all that kind of stuff. So it seems less of a trap if you kick down the front door and killed a bunch of people on your way in. Although it does seem a little strange thinking about it now. Where in where you would kick down the front door and you'd run in there and you'd fight people in the lobby and you'd fight people all in the first two floors. Then once you get beyond that, they seem to lose track of you. And you're walking around in the employee lounge and everything like that and no one seems to take that much of a notice. <laughs> I guess they want to do uh, avoid that kind of thing here. But you're just adding in suspicion that you're walking into a trap instead. It's even pointed out. Man, why we gotta get all these damn key cards just to get anywhere? This is Shinra HQ. The how did you expect? Says the former company man himself. Guess you'd know about all the rules, regulations, and red tape. It's like coming home, huh? There was a lot of animosity in the original game between Barrett and Cloud. And that's probably the most memorable thing about their relationship with each other. But really that didn't last all of that long. Uh, Barrett and Cloud fought a lot in the time during the first Mako bombing mission and then the time in the train and then in Sector 7. Then I guess uh, maybe a little bit more during the next bombing mission. But after that, after it was seen maybe that Cloud had continued to fight for them even though he wasn't getting paid or anything like that, and he's fighting for something greater than himself, it kind of faded away. Yes, every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, sir. No, it's fine. I've brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. <sighs> Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director... I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. Reeve was the most sympathetic of the Shinra executives. And he does, of course, make a return in, well, I guess in the sequel to this game, later on in the original game, where he takes control of the cat riding a Moogle. Although he does seem to, um, his motivations are a little bit screwy in that, because he is spying on you, but he eventually does betray Shinra for your benefit. Welcome to the Shinra Building, our humble home. Oh, hell no! Here, in the Memorial Museum, you can learn all about our president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company. And of course, the city of Midgar, and the miracle of Mako Energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah, yeah, shut up! This seems like something that we should have found on the first floor, not... What is this, the 99th floor? I mean, it's something that visitors would be seeing. You wouldn't really be building something like this for employees, would you? Uh, they're, they're stroking their ego with this anyway, so... I think I just threw up a little. Man thinks very highly of himself. This is, I guess, a nice little distraction for what is going to be a very long dungeon. Although, I probably would have wanted to put something that broke up the action in the middle of the dungeon instead of the beginning of it. We haven't gotten into any fights since we're getting past the parking garage. 
So, the, in fact, this entire episode is going to pass and we're not going to see a single fight. So the pacing's a little screwy. But, you know, it is what it is. Hey, everybody! How's the Grand Tour? I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. Wasn't it fun to learn about Shinra and our esteemed president? And to get a peek at the president's mementos? That was super cool! I don't know what to call that stupid kind of way that the narrator there was speaking. It's really irritating, though. I'm never, never a fan of that kind of thing. I guess it's there because Shinra wants to come across as cheery or something, and people need to be enthusiastic about them. But it just ends up hitting my ears, sounding like an idiot speaking. Now, moving along. The next exhibit will teach you about the important work we do here by giving you a closer look at each of our divisions. I hope you're ready to be amazed, because you simply won't believe all the exciting adventures we have here. These all look so familiar. Because we've destroyed a bunch of them already. The Advanced Weaponry Exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Let's give you a little bit of background, though, about the different heads of the departments. So, at least there's that. I mean, you don't you don't interact with these characters at all in this game, so it's something. What? What? Uh, read this. This paper right here. Uh, give me a moment. Welcome to the Shinra Building. The Space and Aeronautics Division has taken rocket systems developed for military applications and adapted them to a different purpose. The search for new precious resources in the infinite reaches of space. That being said, since we have plenty of Mako at the present, those plans are currently on hold. It's a bit of a shame, really. I always wondered why Palmer still had a job, considering the Space Exploration Division was essentially shut down, but its executive in charge of it was retained. That was weird. Uh, welcome to Shinra Headquarters. My duties as Director of Research and Development are, in all likelihood, far beyond your ability to comprehend. So, there will be no presentation, as it would be a waste of my time and yours. But rest assured, we are making great strides. Albeit not at this particular moment, because I'm filming this rubbish instead. I believe I've wasted enough of my precious time as it is. Science waits for no one, after all. So, good day. Hojo is such a dick. <laughs> It's funny to uh, think of, too, that he's also in the, like, overall world of Final Fantasy VII, considered to be somewhat of an idiot, too, compared to his predecessor. The public security exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. I interpreted High Diggers not having a, uh, not having an interview there or a presentation there being that even though the other characters seem to be kind of bored with it or irritated by it, Heidegger just didn't even record one. <laughs> Welcome oh, that's to the Shinra you. Building. Our mission here at Urban Planning is to supply the residents of Midgar with energy created from Mako. We also take pride in maintaining public infrastructure the pillars and railways that run all throughout the city. Currently, we are working to construct an intraplate expressway. When this project has been completed, it will provide much easier access to numerous locations all across Midgar. We appreciate your patience and understanding in the meantime. Of course, Reeve is the only one here that took this job seriously. And I guess maybe that if if he's um, part of urban development, he's more interested in the greater good for the people, especially compared to the other 
executives. So maybe that has something to do with his personality being a little bit more sympathetic than them. Impressive, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed learning about our divisions and the wonderful ideas and solutions that are produced to benefit us all. Here at Shinra, we strive to ensure the safety of all residents around the clock. It will teach you all about the miracle of Mako energy and our reactors, as well as the city of Midgar itself. So come on! This is Midgar, our home, recreated in one ten thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. The Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies! Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to bind to their bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. <laughs> <laughs> 